I will be utterly, completely honest with you when I tell you I started this project 23 days ago. I got the whole inside framed out. I knocked out the whole back porch. I ran out of steps yesterday. So I had to go buy some more pieces to cut down. It's all a lot of the old stuff that I took out. Sided it, windows. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired, boss. So today I'm just add, finishing these steps right here. Okay. Right here. Let me explain to you something about these stairs. On the bottom where you can still see. Okay. This is on the inside of these. And these are cut back. These two right here are cut back. So they're shorter. So the screws in from the front into here. And then on the side from here. What I should have done was the exact same thing over here. I'd have been about an inch and a half further back. All this right here would not have been exposed and this would have been further back by that inch and a half if I would have cut it that way. And you don't think an inch and a half is a lot, but it is further out than the other stairs that I had. Although you can put more of your foot on it. so. This is day 24. I'll recap some little bit on the stairs when I'm done with them. And then a little bit on the projects. And then, uh, yeah. So let me cut these, measure these, and we'll go from there. On this composite decks. Uh, this right here is not from the composite desking section. That right there is white PVC. This is $30 for an 8-foot board. This is... The composite decking from Lowell's. This isn't Trex. This is not Trex. This is from PFS Title uh, Title Gray uh, by eight feet. Okay, one thing I want to let you know about this is this decking. It says it's eight feet. I had to go get an extra board because I cut it wrong. So if you are getting this board, realize that they give you on this eight foot piece. They give you 97 and an eighth inches. So they give you the overhang for your deck. So what I did is I just took for granted it was eight feet and cut eight feet, cut it right in half at four. And I had a short piece and a long piece. So it's, uh, what is it? 48 and one tick past five eighth would be halfway if you cut right on that. 48 and one tick past five eighth. And you cut it right with the saw, right down the middle, right on the line, and it'll give you two even pieces. And that's what I've been doing right here. And also, I'm using the screw them in. I have not pre drilled. I'm using Grip Right uh, two and a half by nine deck screws. You see, I put them in right here to hold that, just two right here. And I put them in the floorboard. I didn't pre drill them. Some of them look like you a little bit of mushroom, but you really got to go like this to tell. I didn't pre drill them. I'm using the uh, Craftsman Impact and I am using a T20 drill bit that comes in the box with it. Okay, how much boxes of grip tight screws do I need? Grip right screws do I need for some stairs? Let me show you this. These are composite stairs right here. I got the grip tight screws and i only got two in the board right here and i got the ones holding down so this is just for the 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 risers and the steps itself and i got two boards for each step two boards for each step two boxes so really a box and three quarters a box and three quarters of screws grip tight screws two and a half inch deck screws composite deck screws I'm using a Craftsman Impact. I'm not drilling, so sometimes you get some mushrooms, but I'm I'm not drilling. They're going right in perfect here. So two and a half inch. Subscribe, like, share, YouTube, Trev 2323. What's going on, everybody? Rob here, aka Trev 2323. 320 squares of vinyl siding that I'm putting up. 320 squares of vinyl siding. How much nails am I going to use? I actually have Pink Panther underneath and half inch sheathing, sheathing underneath. And then I nailed these in. And if you get to vinyl siding, there's there's letters on it. There's letters on it. So I hit every U. Every U, almost every U. Sometimes I put extras in there. Uh, right now, I got inch and a quarter nails. Three boxes of nails is what I use for 320 squares. So that's 18 feet on this side, seven feet on the other side, seven feet on the other side. So that's 14 feet. Uh, plus 10 feet high 
but I got the windows, a door, and another window. And it was approximately, I'm at three boxes. I might have got a full box right now to do this side right here. Just wanted to give you some heads up there. All right, day 23 in the books. We're going to go ahead and put some very nice LED lights out. Stay tuned for that. But you see, I started the side, and I'll get better footage tomorrow right here, even with right there. I'm going to show you how I did that. And the stairs, a little bit bigger than I expected. But I'll explain the rise and all that. Day 23 working on this. 